here we are, Saturday morning. Slept in today till like six, so it's kind of getting a late start. It's like nine o'clock right now. Uh, we just got off the phone with the realtor. We might be moving to Texas a little sooner than we thought. But that's not the topic of today. Today, we're gonna get started on mounting this wireless trolling motor on the kayak. I went to Home Depot last night and got, got some, uh, some fiberglass resin. I actually got this at Bass Pro Shops. It's a trolling motor plug. I just needed some kind of thick gauge wire plug to uh, I wanted to use to disconnect this from the battery. Grab some uh, carriage bolts. I normally wouldn't use carriage bolts, but Home Depot doesn't have the uh, best of options. I was looking for some stainless steel uh, button heads, but they didn't have them. Grab some plywood, sheets of plywood right there. Got a couple of sheets over there for the boxes. Also, do you guys ever hang on to like a tool or a part or something and just think like one day I'm going to use this. I'm going to need this one day. One of these days I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to need this. Well, today I, uh, needed to, I wanted to check some old fiberglass resin that I had, some old, an old bottle of fiberglass resin I had. I wanted to see if this was still good. So I bought some hardener yesterday when I was, when I was at Home Depot and I wanted to mix, mix up a small amount. When the directions it says to mix a teaspoon of hardener with a tablespoon of of the resin, and I didn't want to ruin one of our teaspoons or tablespoons doing that, so I remembered that I had this. Check this little thing out. This side right here, one tablespoon, one teaspoon. Flip it over, a half a teaspoon and a half a tablespoon. Pretty convenient, right? Now I'm glad I hung on to this. I didn't have to ruin any of my. Uh, wife's uh, tablespoons or teaspoons but let's take a look at what we've got going on so far so this is where i'm at so far on this trolling motor project uh, i kind of just mocked all this up the other day to kind of get an idea of how i wanted to do this i originally was thinking about building an aluminum bulkhead that screws to right here you know and kind of screws down in a couple spots to uh, the kayak but I really didn't want to screw a bunch of holes in my kayak. So what I came up with is I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a wood plate that goes like right here, put that there and then do a big gusset inside this inside corner and uh, maybe put like a rubber bumper pad or something between the wood and that. So every time the motor torques, it's going to push right into this pontoon as opposed to twerking on this handle. Uh, I really, I'm really concerned about too much vibration and movement rubbing and eventually rubbing a hole in this. So I want to make this thing not move uh, as much as possible. And I really don't want to just drill a bunch of holes in my kayak because what if this motor mount doesn't work? What if I end up changing it to something else later and I got a bunch of screw holes in there and it was all for naught. So basically this motor mount, uh, I don't know, really know what you want to call it. You want to call it a transom mount, motor mount, whatever. So this uh, transom mount is too narrow. I actually made it for this uh, Minn Kota uh, Endurance, I think it's called. The Minn Kota Endurance. I made it around this because I originally was just going to mount this back here. Uh, so it's a little narrower, which actually works out for me because now I can bring this top plate. Let me show you this top plate all the way inside. I was trying to leave some space on either side so I could hook a strap right here so I still had a handle, you know, to carry it. But I think with how nice this whole mount is going to be and how sturdy this whole mount is going to be, I can uh, probably mount a handle to that and use that uh, to carry it around. So let's get started. I'm going to unbolt this thing, disassemble it, figure out what pieces on it that I still want to use or what I'm just going to copy. I need to just scale up some of the dimensions. I need to bring this plate all the way up to like right there. Uh, I need to bring the sides out more. And that's really about it. Actually, there's not a whole lot to do. Uh, obviously, I'm going to clean it up, make it look a lot nicer. So the finished product in the end will be really nice. It won't have a bunch of screws and stuff like that. Hopefully, it won't have a bunch of screws. Like I said, I'm not very uh, uh, savvy on working with wood. I have a background in and metal fabrication so a lot of this is gonna gonna be new to me uh, to be honest I don't have like a lot of cool tools uh, I'm gonna use just some Harbor Freight skill saw 
uh, my jet bandsaw over here. I'm gonna help cut me out a lot of stuff. Uh, drill press and my Burr King. This is my baby right here. <laughs> Wasn't for that uh, tool right there, I couldn't build half of the crap I build. All right, so let's get started. Let's start taking this thing apart. Grab a couple of my 16s real quick. <clears throat> so as you can see here, I had made little spacers that go in between. So when you bolt it tight, it doesn't over tighten itself on the actual handle and the edges of these actually ride up against the edge of the handle so it stops this whole thing from torquing. Like I said, I'm trying to minimize all the movement out of this without having to put a bunch of holes inside my kayak. All right, so I got this whole thing disassembled right now. Get this camera roll right. So I got this whole thing disassembled right now, and now I'm gonna start copying these pieces out of the right size material that I wanted to use and make them all the right sizes they need to be. So, I'm going to do that right now. <clears throat> okay, so I went and measured the width of the handle on the back of the kayak, and it's like eight and a quarter. So I'm going to, or eight inches and eight and a quarter at the back, it kind of tapers out. So I'm going to do eight and a half, I think to give myself a little extra room. I'm gonna start big with this piece because I really, really, really wanna make sure I massage it in so it fits nice and tight. And I'm also, and I'm also gonna add a little material to this bottom piece right here because this edge actually rested on the very point of the handle of the kayak. I'm afraid of it rubbing too much. So I'm gonna add a little bit. It can always be trimmed. Let's, uh, I think I'm just gonna add the width of this as opposed to uh, adding more material. I'm gonna center this up about as good as I can eyeball it. Like I said, it's all gonna get sanded and massaged into place. So basically, I just need to give a straight edge real quick. <clears throat> All right, got both parts made. Uh, I cut them exactly the same. Uh, I only added half inch to the bottom of them. So I'm gonna glue them together right now and then uh, move on to making some of the other parts while I'm waiting for the glue to dry. <clears throat> this is, uh, I don't know, some kind of Gorilla Glue, clear Gorilla Glue. I thought I had wood glue, but I guess I didn't. So this is what we're using today. Just wanna get these edges really good. When I coat this in the fiberglass resin, I'm sure it's going to bond all these pieces together and really good anyways. But we all know Gorilla Glue works great, right? Gorilla Glue fixes everything. Squish these together like that. Put a couple clamps on there to get started. more concerned about this leading edge because this leading edge right here was the was the factory edge off of the lumber and if everything works out okay and I can keep that factory edge to stay square I'd rather have that nice clean factory edge to work with rather than something I cut with the Harbor Freight skill saw so all right let these dry up and uh, let's make the rest of the parts. Sweet. So <clears throat> now I got all the parts made pretty much. Here they all are. 
It's the top plate, it's the bottom plate, this is the back plate so far, and these are the three spacers I'm going to use to divide it. Uh, let's check out the back plate real quick. So we've got the back plate, as you can see, I sanded it to fit real tight in there. I left a little wiggle room because once I put the resin on it, or if I want to, if I ever want to fiberglass it or anything, uh, it needs a little. It's going to need a little space. So let's start assembling this thing and start screwing some of it together and figure out what else needs to be made. <clears throat> Man, working with wood is a lot messier than working with steel. I'll tell you what, I get way more stuff in my eyes when I work with wood. Anyway, those were wraps so far. Check it out. Pretty wicked. Bolts on nice and tight. A little bit of space in the middle there. Next thing I think I'm going to make is going to be a plate that goes here. And I didn't think about that being in the way. So we're going to have to figure that out. <clears throat> I think I'm done. I think I'm going to leave it here for now. Take a look at it. I think that's where I'm going to leave it for now. I got it all glued up sitting just gonna let all this glue to finish drying then we'll sand it up make it round off all the edges and everything just so there's no sharp edges make it look halfway decent and then I can start to resin I think I might fill this void in it's driving me nuts with some of that spray foam you use for like door jams I think if it's wiggling around a bunch and I spray some of that foam in there it'll solidify and I can just trim all the excess off and it'll kind of just mold this whole thing to the back of my kayak so it actually be like one with the kayak that or I might feed some kind of strap through there and see if I can't utilize that to pick the kayak from, kayak up from the back I'm not sure yet though but yeah uh, as soon as this thing dries, I'm going to sand it up and put the resin on it. In the end, I decided to put on the gusset on the back. So this is what I ended up with in the end. Right there. I need to still grind off these corners right here. Sand those up right there. And then... Just gonna sand all these edges up, make it look nice and smooth and just a little nicer. And then I'm gonna coat it with that fiberglass resin. And then we're done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Other than putting a plug on the end of the on the trailing motor, which that only take me a few minutes, it's pretty much done. So I need to hurry up, get this thing taken apart, taken or taken off the kayak, get it cleaned up and get this resin on it so it has time to set up before tomorrow morning. So, I gotta get to it. Bye. <coughs> I put the resin on uh, and I, uh, I think I put too much hardener in the first batch because it set up on me pretty quick. But here we go. Here it is. It uh, definitely, definitely did not do a good job on putting the resin on. Those are all the little pieces. I got some drips coming off of them. I definitely did not take my time doing this. Like always, I never take the time when it comes to painting and stuff. But, oh well. Oh, it can be sanded. Plus, I think uh, if it works out okay, I'm going to gel coat it. So, this will get me through tomorrow. See how the trolling motor works. Everything works fine. I'll take it off another day sand it up nice and fresh and then uh gel coat it with like a white gel coat or something uh okay so when i come back i will assemble it and probably put it on there you have it wireless trolling motor on a kayak all mounted up nice and pretty i know it came out good fancy just check it out perfect
Perfect. I just ran the battery underneath the seat for now. I don't know if you can really see that. I'm going to put a strap around it. I think I'm going to put a strap around it and leave it underneath the seat for tomorrow just so I can go out and go fishing. I don't want to run 12 feet of, of 8 gauge wire, you know, to try to keep up or try to keep up with the trolling motor. So I just threw it underneath there. Yeah, so I just toss it up underneath the seat, and uh, I think that's where I'm going to leave it. Just got out of the shower. I'm exhausted. It's been a long day. The garage is a disaster, but the kayak is done. <sighs> now I just need to get all my fishing gear ready, scramble to get everything together to go fishing tomorrow morning, test this new uh, trolling motor out. Well, thank you guys for watching the video. If you guys can uh, subscribe, like, hit the uh, notification bell. That way when I upload these videos, you guys get them. And uh, just continue watching. I'm going to continue uh, trying to make as much content as possible. Build a couple new things. I got some good ideas, I think, now that I've started doing this trolling motor uh, idea. I think I got a few, few, few new things I want to do. Um, I think next weekend we're going to go out to the bay and go fishing, so it should be pretty cool. I uh, appreciate all the uh, support, and I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.